Aloha everybody and welcome to the Hii Water Percolation Activity Tutorial for Level 1. Here are the different materials that you're going to need for this activity. Two large sheets of paper. One squirt bottle or water bottle filled with water. At least four different colors of markers. And your water percolation activity sheet that can be found in your workbook. Your first step is to take your first sheet of paper and crumple it up. Make sure that it's nice and tight so you get lots of different lines on your paper. After that, open it back up and try to flatten it as much as you can, but note that it'll still be a little bit crumpled. Next, grab one color of marker and trace along the high points of your paper. So whatever sticks up a little bit more than the rest of your paper, you're going to go ahead and trace those lines. This is what's gonna be representative of our ridge line. Okay, so this is what mine looks like after I've traced all of the high points of my paper. Then you're gonna imitate rain. So what happens to the ridge line when rain comes? So you're gonna grab your squirt bottle and start to spray the water all over the blue lines that you just drew, or whatever color you chose to use first. Notice where the color is going. Are there places where it collects? How far does the water go, the color go, from where you first drew it? Next, you can ask for your parents' help to take a picture of your experiment one or draw a picture in the box on the second page of the activity sheet. For part two, we're gonna take our second unused sheet of paper and lay it down in front of us. Here, we're gonna start by using our three other colors to draw some of the land uses that we have here on Lanai. So the first color I took was brown and I'm gonna draw some of the different businesses that we have here. I'm also gonna draw some of the trees that ha we have in that area. I'm then gonna use orange to represent all of our different houses and then purple to do our schools. So here I actually used four colors instead. I'm gonna do the same thing that we did in part one and crumple the paper and open it back up again. Next, I'll grab my blue marker and trace the ridge lines just like we did in part one. Again, I'm gonna mimic rain after I've traced all of the different ridge lines by grabbing my squirt bottle and misting all over my paper. What happens to the color in this situation? Are there places where the water collects? What does that mean for the quality of our water in our watershed? Again, after you're done, you can either ask your parents' help to take a picture of your experiment too, or draw one for the second page of the activity sheet. Here are some pictures from my experiment too. After completing both experiments, what do you think that the mixing of the colors means for our watershed? Think about some things that you will do to make sure that our water is healthy and clean. We hope this tutorial was helpful, but if you still have questions, feel free to email Shelly at lenaechc.org. And don't forget to tag us on Facebook and Instagram to show off your experiment.